Well, one of the things that has run through the themes, themes of this summit is, and one of the things I, I tried to really emphasize is that we face many grand challenges, energy efficiency, climate change, poverty reduction, the creation of good jobs for people, reducing inequality in the advanced countries, and even the greater inequality between the advanced countries and the countries of the developing world and the global south. But the grandest challenge, the grandest of all the grand challenges we face is creating sustainable, resilient, and prosperous cities. And I think that's what has been so important about this summit. It's really bringing cities and sustainable urbanism to the forefront of the United Nations and to the forefront of our global development agenda. And I think the most important thing we can do going forward is, is and that I advocated, but not just me, when I participated in Medellin at the World Urban Forum, more than 20,000 urbanists and urbanites and city leaders from all over the world said that it's really important that the United Nations with the upcoming post-2015 new sustainable development goals put cities at the center of those new goals and create an, an SDG, a new sustainable development goal for sustainable urbanism and building resilient and prosperous cities. Well, when it comes to sustainable urbanization, we have a tremendous amount of work to do. Uh, we're going to put billions more people in cities. Most of those people are not going to be put in cities because North America, the United States, and Canada, and Europe, and advanced Asia are already urbanized, and much of Latin America. Most of that is going to occur in the emerging economies of Asia and Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and, and Africa. So, so we really, and we're going to spend spend more money. I mean, this is sort of amazing to me. We're going to spend more money building new cities and renovating existing cities uh, over the next 50 to 100 years than we have in all of human history. We're going to build more. We're going to build more urban development. So really the question is we, we have to do that right. Um, we certainly need better data. We certainly need the equivalent of what we have for nations, national income accounts, data on economic output. We don't have that. It's sort of hard to imagine. We don't have that for cities and urban agglomerations. We can't compare New York to Paris to Toronto to Shanghai to Beijing to Mumbai to Delhi and so on. Uh, we're going to need to really equip mayors, but not just mayors. One of the things we've heard at the summit is city and civic and urban leaders of all types from neighborhood uh, representatives to people on the street. We're going to have to equip our, our urban leaders with better training. We, we really don't know what the best practices are. We don't have mechanisms for sharing best practice. I think we're going to have to create new bodies, maybe like a UN for cities. And UN Habitat does a lot of that. And under the leadership of Dr. Close, it's a fabulous organization. But an organization where mayors of cities from around the world can, can become part of a global delegation and, and making sure that, that you know, we, we have great training programs for physicians, for engineers, for lawyers, for managers, making sure that this new generation of urban and civic leaders have the data and the training and the infrastructure they need to be successful and to optimize that trillions upon trillions in dollars in new investment we're going to make building new cities and renovating existing ones. I think the UN can and hopefully will play a central role, a pivotal role in building and creating sustainable cities in a new era of sustainable urbanism. And the first part of that is to ensure that, that cities and sustainable urbanism become part, a pivotal part, a centerpiece of that new post-2015 sustainable development goals. I, I, I think that just has to be done. And it's something you know I've become quite passionate about and Dr. Close has become quite passionate about. We have got to put cities and sustainable urbanism at the center point of the UN's agenda. But once that happens, I think that can help set a framework for investment from the private sector, from, from international development agencies, from, from large and affluent nation states like the United States and the other advanced countries, and begin to coordinate and, and channel the kind of investment we need. And in particular, to make sure that, that urbanization in the global south, in the great megacities of the global south, is done in a way that increases economic output, increases productivity, and, and raises up the living standards, making sure that we avoid the kind of poverty traps that, that already too many global slums have become. And I think the UN needs to provide signal leadership 
on that, and, and, and perhaps, I think, hopefully in the future, just like the UN became the body where member states, where nation states after World War II could come together and deliberate about security issues and economic and, and social and development goals to, put, to, to help create a similar organization for cities, a, a similar organization that can help cities in urban areas and suburban areas, these greater urban agglomerations, learn from one another. And I, I really think if cities and sustainable urbanization are the grandest of the grand challenges we face, we, we can solve it. I, I, guess in, I guess the short of it is we're going to urbanize. We're going to put several billion, five billion more people in urban areas. We're going to spend a heck of a lot of money, more money than, than we could ever imagine building cities. We have two choices. We can do it in an ad hoc, inefficient, sub-optimized way with no data, winging it, with no training infrastructure for mayors and civic officials and urban leaders, and we'll get outcome. The outcome will be certain cities will do well, many will do less well, more people will stay in poverty, will be energy inefficient, climate change will accelerate, and we'll get a lot of bad things. Or we could say as a world, we're actually going to do it right. We're going to build the data infrastructure we need. We're going to track what matters to progress. We're going to develop best practices. We're going to make investments in a strategic way. We're going to harness the power of the public sector along with the, the private sector and the public sector together. We're going to make sure global development agencies are investing in this. We're going to make sure that the mayors and civic leaders have the training they need to do this well. And actually to do that is a drop in the proverbial bucket. The amount of money we will spend to do it right versus doing it wrong is trivial. All it's going to take is a coordinated effort. The, the UN has done it before. It's built the World Health Organization and built many other organizations that transformed vital sectors. And I think the UN stands at the center point, the pivot point of helping us do it right again. And, and you know, we have a lot of work to do and the clock is ticking so we can't waste much time. We have to get on with the real work of building sustainable urban areas and great and resilient cities.